there, so it's not a huge tell that he's over towards Seelong. The big tell is now there's a big swing. Here we go. That's a great bit of play from Guild. Almost forcing the fight. And look at the HP left on Pora. It's nothing. Flashed up still. Clears every bit of utility on the way. Flash towards the back of sight. This is a wonderful take. Now, three left alive for the defending side of Ova, Lau, and Rubino have to try and do something about this. Rubino, of course, being the one to play this one out. And he gets his name on the board, taken down safe, but the spike is planted. Right here. So that's the all three members of Heretic, still 100 HP and with the light armor. So definitely a consideration to make. Draken actually comes out. We're behind Boxer. It's pretty much a 3v3 on site. The paranoia comes through. No initial swing, but Avova's going to find Yassine. They're going to find the entry back in. Avova, a second as well. Just one man standing on site. Draken, 34 HP. He's trying to lurk his way back in here, but the diffuser's coming through. Halfway, Lol's going to sit this one. Draken's got a time in. He oh, can't. No. Heretics pull off the retake. There's only three of them. But the value in someone to begin with, Avova there. I actually fancies the double dip. That's, oh, that's two again. He's still getting great value for this play. You know, now... Hold down the fort on A site. Get spotted from the recon, but again, this is... I mean, this is a concern for me. Once again, Guild doing... It's almost rehearsed at this point. Every single time, looking for this sewers contact. Not they can actually force their way in here. God, I'm going to spot out both players now. Do they still decide to commit to this? Actually, the flash comes through, yeah. Trade will come through from Lau, but... Again, it's not an awful lot of value on the side of Guild, right? They, they don't want to go for these one-for-ones in this scenario. No, but Draken could maybe make some space on this. The adjustment towards Long is interesting. They still have the spike to hand, which is actually pretty important. Now, can they maybe hit the brakes for a second, get a little bit of paranoia building amongst the defending side? Now, Sage regressing to short is pretty interesting for Lau. That's good information recovered, and he might try and slow clear. So it's, it's uh, I guess, the... Double-edged sword. Yes, you get the info, but the timing is everything. Does he get checked on by Bonka? Does he maybe get picked up by Draken? For now, he can hold this. And that's pretty good information relayed. Now, the timing towards Long is good, though. They might be able to get at least a plant out of this, potentially, if they can defend against one of these angles. And I love how deep you're already seeing the response from Heretics be. They'll play for the close plant if they need to. They don't want to have any more danger coming their way. Plant comes in. You can see the smoke's gone up. And already we're into the nice old post plant. It's on Draken, I feel, here to be the big influence if this has to go right for Guild. And already Lau, though, this is the one that's going to be a little surprise to them. They wouldn't have accounted for this position. Now they know, and it's all down to Draken in the 1v3. Doesn't get the first, and it doesn't matter. Very... No sewers presence, so everybody flexes over towards Garage and C. Actually, that recon is going to have to get dealt with, and that's going to give the information over. It's going to hopefully draw one more member of heretics this way rubino swing out you've seen phantom better at that range though we'll deal with him i'm a little confused left. actually you see sorry Lauren, the two people still committed to see here i i think it's it's been hard to read you look at the default that comes out of guild it, it's pretty well done i i I, I don't mind it by any means draken's constantly at sea long so it's, it's always hard to read into presence because they will have players on the extremities now, of course, this is obvious for us to see, but the retake now is where it gets a little dicey. Those SMGs aren't terrible at this, but again, Nuki is always going to be that kind of knockout blow if he gets something, and there it is. Starts it off with a bang, Draken goes down. Does he decide to go for this one now? How much more can they find? Here comes that CT presence, bit of a spray, timings, everything, there they go. Leo and Yassine, good combination, but now the 1v1 on the other hand. Oh, this could be sick. You hear him in hell, he's dropped down for it, Nuki! Oh, oh no! no! The pre Yeah, off the back of the ultimate from your scene, I like the pace switch on that to just kind of hit it quick and try and just use that ultimate to crack open the site, and it's worked. And now Satchel gets lobbed down. Did it find target? I don't see it doing too much damage, so... Seems to be fine. Heretics once again put in this position. This time, though, they do have rifles, excluding Pora, of course. you seen Pain Shell early this time, maybe. Over the first start looking through, and Nookie wants to begin. Tries to clear out towards that kind of short box. Yassine sprays in, finds him over. That's great value for him, and he could do with a little bit more, because Nookie's still being the equating factor. That's ultimate coming up, but he gets caught mid-air. Still finds safe, but his Bonker on the site. Holds it down, expects for the flex, and it comes in, but the shots don't come through. Bonker again doing well here. And oh, the timing's dissipated. There's no chance on this now. Gotta get out of there, keep that rifle, and look towards the next one. Guild, hey, whether or not you like the ultimate being used like that, oh, it didn't get a kill, doesn't matter. It got them the site, which pretty much got them the round. It's a number of times now we see, especially players like you've seen, right? You have to respect that showstopper. You have 
to back up, have to give it the space. And, and ultimately, I mean, a site's always one we talk about on Haven, where lots of teams opt to just back up, give this up, play the retake. Fine with that, but Guild able to solidify on site. Again, poor tried the lurk. Again, the flank came in a little too late for my liking. Everybody else kind of charging in. I guess if he's got to be careful to clear through lobby, make sure nobody's deep on A long as well. Look at this from Guild. It's the four man walk up. See long. Nobody on site here. Saw them do this a number of times on Haven as well. Looking, they're looking much faster in the early round. They, they Way look, faster. It, it feels to me like they have a really good plan in mind and they're executing it very well. It seems very clear focus for now. I want to see how Heretics disrupt this Vova. Safe is super good at catching those flanks, by the way. Like, he is, he's one of the best, I feel, at it, but he just got beheaded. So that's a little unfortunate, but still, the round continues on and we are now into a 5v3. But the time is ticking. They've got to get a move on. And Leo's still alive. You know, there's a chance, but not oh, now. No. <gasps> the swing from Poro is so well timed. Bolga gets caught with his pants down. And now Draken called upon. That's one. That's two. It's three. But he needs more. The defuse is still going on. Oh, he can't get to it. And now. Easier to play retake against. However, it always feels against pistols. They stay packed and it's really hard to break in. But no Nuki way. should just. Nuki is so sick at that. Just instantly finds two. Create some space, but you see him once in on some of the action as well. And now suddenly there's a bit of a problem. And actually that problem is mounting. Leo's still there. It's sort of over. But oh, look how stunned he is. He's nothing. There, and I guess. I guess. Look, he's showing that presence with the showstopper. Gilda can actually descend onto C site. Actually, Bonkar goes through to challenge the TP. That's spiked down. You see, tries to respond with a showstopper of his own. I'm looking at that mid lurk as well. I want to see if that comes into effect. The timing's going to be important because you've got Nookie doing the same thing as well. So now here we go. Leo's found LOL and it's going to be game back on. Suddenly, this becomes a bit of a problem. You can see Heretics pausing for thought here. They're considering that there could be a flank as well. That cage just can keep vision limited. Now, Nookie's timing is everything. You've got to know you're playing against Nookie, and now with that gone, you've got to be on red alert. Where's wait, the call? Where's wait. the comms? Where is where is the information relay? Nookie's there! No way! You can't allow him that! You cannot let him get away with that sort of thing. Now, Draken's got to find his place. He has to come into this now, as oh, it's just no. Draken. Can he thread the needle as well as Nookie just did? They seem suspicious of this. They seem aware. I'm seeing already Rubino watching towards it. Heretics! Yeah, yeah, this this split could be interesting here because they might get really good timing here. You've seen Anthony had an opportunity to open that one up. Draken comes through with the trade, though. Still waiting on the next part of this, which is still Nuki is the final kind of line. But if Ova's on the side trying to hold this down, almost baiting in lol. He's not giving away too much. They should check on this, but there we go. Leo does 14 seconds now. Time's becoming an element to this one. Great readjustment from Leo. But if Ova... Oh! Nowhere. Like a thief in the night that denies the plant. Dead. And now Leo's back on the case. He's got to get this done. He does spike now down, but it's Nuki. And he knows they're going to be close to sight. They wouldn't have time for big readjustments. He can't Ooh. get the shot. Leo's there. And Leo's clutching was so important for Guild not too long. They still haven't really responded to this. And it's a slow creep towards A again. 2-2 two -two split towards it. And Yassine's going to have a little wander towards Garage, but anything i just keep him present towards mid a little longer. Gil do get side control. Nothing to deny this plan either. So once again, I said there was nothing. Now they did get a tag, but not There's two quite. tags. Yeah, that is actually two tags. I just saw at the end just catch him. Now they're both down to 70 HP, but they're still very much alive. And they're still very much in a 5v4 post plan. Leo gets a bit more chip damage as well. This is starting to get a little dicey. Yeah, no utility, actually. Well, they have a shock dart and one recon up now. That's going to get a good ping, actually. Let's try and send the Owl Drone in just enough. Avova will find safe on the way in. Guild now need to secure this. Uh, this is going to get overwhelmed. Yeah, they, they absolutely are. Nookie's already kind of wormed his way out. Draken's there, but on towards the spike. Pora goes. That's not on. No That's way. not on. Pora's just going to sit this full faith in the teammates to lock this down. Make sure no one could press. Once again, pull off another retake. They do have more utility this time, though. Nobody on the flank, though. So it's literally just going to be split between Heaven and Spawn Connector. It'll be very difficult for them to crack their way back into this one. Joe Stopper gets popped. Preemptively actually going to find one. You're seeing hops up. Lyle will fall in heaven. Oh, it's it's perfect. That's how you want. Safe though. Going to get played in on this. Do they check it? He doesn't give away the game. And now they give the line up. Great work from Safe. The trigger discipline plays so, so well. Play the numbers game. Actually, two members of Guild creeping their way down sewers. Well, they're going to set up the crossfire here. This could be huge for Guild. Oh no, that's one, that's two, that's three, it's Guild! Huge. 
That's just the clothesline through Sewer. They couldn't make it past it, and now Heretic's just left in tatters. You got a over. The one player left alive gets one, gets the dink on the second, but it ain't enough. Heretic's actually going to come all the way through here, whether or not backing up for utility. It doesn't look like it. A little spread a little thin, I'll be honest, on the side of Guild. Whether or not they're going to look to just settle for exits here. I'm not sure really what the plan is here. Nobody coming through to contest right now. You see. Just about now leaning in. Here you got a utility. Yeah, they are going to come for the retake. Timing's going to be a big factor on this. They're going to have to work quick. Now, safe's going to get a good run up towards long. They actually might catch the timing. Towards one. No, Rubino turns around. Feels that pressure mounting. He has having none of what he's trying to sell. Bonker in the smoke. As soon as he goes through, advantage should have been on the other side, but it actually goes Bonkar's way for a second or two. But look at the trade outs. Heretics still in drastic numbers. And Draken, there ain't no time for this, bud. Maybe just trying to keep them present. Cost them the rifles. <laughs> it's done pretty well, at least towards one. Oh, everything that's going on. Safe's in a horrible spot now, but... <gasps> timing. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Safe. Well played on the lurk around the smoke, but here comes that quick pressure through short. But wait, Avova finds Draken on this. Safe is still a danger man because he's on a really favorable angle Lau! to work with. But for how long? Lau's found two, and Safe's position is still valued. No, it's gone. Bora checks on him, and this round has been wrapped up. Up. Bonker tries to play it back in, but he's a mile away from getting past Lau. And what a moment for him there. That was beautiful again. And Pora takes space. Gotta be careful of the connector here. And oh wow, Pora just walks through it. No brakes, all gas. Spike should be planted any second now, but no, they're carrying on. They want to take this towards A. This is going to be on that one A player who is that waiting, but it doesn't matter. Heretics, oh my God. they check this. Oh, this is filthy work. Nookie is having a tear of a round as well. They just took the world tour of the map and they've just won every fight. That's flawless. 7.9 on level. Everyone's good. And the money for guild is in dire straits broken down. That's a pixel, though, that Yasin can take down. Pops the ultimate. He gets another. This is sick stuff from Yasin. If he can get that rifle, though, that'd be perfect. Can he maybe get it back? Maybe a deep nade? And he can hop up if he fancies, but... Exactly where he's positioned. Struck and jump peeked it. He knows what's up. Puts down a smoke for himself to try and play around, but Nookie's found safe, so he's all alone. Drop and can't make it out of there in time. Lol Ooh. grabs him and drags him to the ground. 3v3 now begins. Spike to be planted. They've made up for those mistakes, and that wall's back in place. Look at this, <laughs> oh, this angle dirty starting. angle for Lal. That is... Ooh. Just filthy in all the right ways. You know? Just no brings you a little joy. Now, timing's a factor, and Leo could find it. Ultimate gets popped there. It is lol. It's just the guillotine waiting. Leo continues forward, but by now, <laughs> he's lost all of that bite. You can see what heretics were trying to do, and it almost worked out. But they recommit towards C long now. We're going to creep up safe. It has to get something done there. Leo will spawn, but... You know, now actually going to throw the Rolling Thunder in. Try and charge. Oh, he's so close to that, but of over. The counter peak is so good. Ultimate's being invested as well. This is information now. Free flowing. Seen and Bonker called upon. Spike is yet to be planted and has to cross the site. That's a bit of a problem. As you've seen, can watch that. And he's going to catch off Bora. Now, who else is up for the challenge? Bonker's got a bit more info. Relayed this. This is really good work between the two. Look at this flying from your scene. The readjustment's mad. The paranoia of him being in towards garage is enough to buy them time because this cross, they have to invest into it. Town Q may have given away here, but let's see what your scene can achieve. The plant comes in. They have no idea of long. Now your scene, if he takes the time, he can find so many. That's going to be one. He needs a second. Can they find Rubino? Now Rubino knows. Okay, there's one on long. There's one towards CT. He's going to posture up for a clean fight towards a long player. Let's see what the timing's I like, like coming in for Bonka. Trying to divide the battlefield into favorable 1v1s. The timing, though, just peels away. Oh, oh. Yassine's readjustment is a gift in this round. He knew that that short cross was going to just hinder them for enough time. With the trap wire, that's going to alert Pora. He's going to be on red alert, and actually, Yassine will fall. I'm curious about this read. I mean, it's going to be a... I just want to see what Safe does with this now. Is he... How aware is he of this pressure coming through? Nuki's right there. Okay, nice work from safe to keep that in mind. And the trade out now for Bora is effective towards Garage. This is leaving with just Bonkar and safe, and Bonkar's position's locked off by a wall. He's lost info on Garage where his player just went down, and safe can't find anything. Uh, this is time to back away and just try and keep that gun potentially at this point. Safe's done well, but not 
enough to convert anything from this round. Uh, to Leo? So they're in the right place for this. This is probably the hardest site to take right now for heretics, at least with the weaponry coming to mind. Now, as much as this isn't great, this at least means I'm in the right place at the right time and they don't what? check on the cubby. How does he get away with that? And now Leo's clutched from here before. Is he going to do it again? The flash of Ovas had none of it. But Safe gets the time to come in and trade. But that was Lau, not of Ova. So he knows there's still danger here. And this 3v2 is now a 2v2. Make it a 1v2. Yassine is a little further away. He can't capitalize on this. A Bucky feels a little limited. Maybe a rifle's on the ground that he could maybe switch out to, but the grenade could get him a little bit closer. Get sure that hops on in. He's got a gap closer. He can try and close the distance. Oh. Not going to happen to Vova. Oh, as well. Yes, 100%. He did, uh, considering what they had, that round was dicey. And Vova was a, a huge factor. The trade that came in was it was incredibly well-timed because you still had Safe and Leo. And hold on, I'm seeing an op come out. And Draken going to catch that information, so... We set up with this paranoia. The paint shield's actually perfect. Going to do a little bit of damage. But look at it, it's a response. You see, Natty going to open up with a showstopper of his own in Heretics. They've got to hit the brakes right now. They found nothing from this. They've literally got nothing out of that, and they've just lost out on Nookie. So now they disengage and look towards potentially B, as it stands. Last time they went on that well core, like kind of flanked through towards eight. Surely they don't go for it now. They don't have the same sort of presence. And that fast flank from Yassine could certainly be in left. place, though. Let's see how this unfolds, as eventually Avova's going to kind of lean over with them as well. Pora trying to clear towards connective. It's going to be safe. <gasps> safe walks in, but Rubino takes him down. And that's the equalizer. You're going to see the ultimates being popped, but can they find the plant? For now, no. Nothing more to be hindered. He does actually catch Pora. That's big. Lau now has to move. Opens up a chance for the play back in. Now we wait. See what the timing's like. A 3v3 now begins, and they're all coming from the same side, all from that BC connector. Actually, if overplaying so deep here, you can actually slip in Garage behind. You can see that's exactly what he's going to do. Keep your eye on the minimap here, but Lau needs to hold down. Draken going to open things up on the side. Rabino responds here. There he is. There's that flank coming in his bunker with it all to do, and he's got nothing to do with Guild, of course, on the attack have already aggressed towards the site. They've got decent control with Yassine, kind of going towards a little bit deeper towards Hell and Heaven. Having a little check, just showing presence, allowing that spike to be planted. Now, that's not bad. That will dissuade the bomb. <laughs> the spike from being planted. It's its really catching me today, isn't it? Um, I'm going to get an email. Hello, Pansy. <laughs> we need to have a chat. Um, and again, the only one to have a voice in this conversation is Rubino. Tries to have a little bit of a lean down towards hell, but Leo's got his number. Catching him down below, and you can see them almost baiting here. But this is where someone like Rainer can become super deadly. Let's see if he can get any more value. Not really. They're finding it hard to break back into this, and here we go. Finally, the commitment from Heretics. One Effective trade remaining. for your scene, and Draken. Draken doubles down. That's massive. Trying to clear out hell here is so difficult with Draken doing that. Close there. Both players actually going to back up to heaven here. They're going to potentially line up, but Nuki comes out on top of that one. Bonkar will fall. Nuki will find his third. Leo finally responds, but already being a nuisance. For Guild here, Nuki actually going to find his fourth. Oh, now, Leo, seconds. the last man standing here in this round. Should not have played out this way whatsoever. Now, this is what I say about Rainer. It's the most, I'd, I'd say one of the most self-sustaining agents, right? Like, it's, especially if you're, if you're a fragger, that is. Now, of course, you could argue that someone like Sage is probably the most self-sustaining technically, and oh. of course he is! This is the equipment guild have to deal with. You know, ready? Oh my god! Oh, right, two there. through the smoke there. Of over. We'll find the third as well, and... <laughs> It's not meant to be that easy. No, Hi, it's Pop. not. Oh dear, that's more. And Nuki's just having fun. Have you ever... I, I don't know how to characterize this. He just got like two free kills. And now he's just, just hanging out, doing just fine. Finally gets put to bed by Bonka. But to what extent? 11 HP in a dream? Yeah, the dreams are dashed. This is more a nightmare. Already, we talked about momentum. And already you can see Oven towards that Sabrosa spot. <gasps> there was one, but he was hyper-focused towards it and safe bails him out. This is good from Guild. Now they have the perfect attempt towards A. The spike is left by the back of Spawn, but that can be recovered and taken through. Now the mid-take wants to come out from Heretics, but they're being held back. This mid-hold is so important right now. They can actually deny this retake completely. It's a 2v2, actually. It's safe and... Leo posted up here. Poor are going to swing out. Safe actually comes out on top of it. Leo with the counter peak. A really good hold right now. Lau will respond. Look at I mean too much. Actually, Rubino finding another kill makes it interesting. But Yassine will stamp out any further hope of Heretics cracking their way back onto this A site. Now well, a 1v3. Now, they aren't in particularly complementary positions for each other. But... 
Uh, there's also they're not easy to find. They're deep enough that you can't clear these quickly. No one's offering anything up here. Catches. Oh no! What a horrible feeling it is. Now, Lau can't make this any more expensive. Yeah. He's he's lost any shot at this. Time to get out of. They anticipate the second though. This could be sick. I'm gonna feel assured that this is the right place, the right time. Pora gives away nothing until now. Sees one, finds one, looks for another, can't get it. Now Rubino Shot called down, upon to deliver. Pops in the utility, but 13 seconds on the board. There ain't much time for this spike plant. This has to be quick and this has to be correct. This can't be stopped and it isn't. For now, the ultimate gets invested because they want all that information. Even those wall bangs could be pretty solid in this. And safe waiting in the back of that boathouse for the retake. If Ova still has the paranoia again, just probably waiting on this cool down for one of his smokes here. I'm gonna send it through, they're gonna swing through. Three members of guild tucked into back sight. It's actually worrying here. Safe gonna find an opener though. Avova responds. 2v2 now. Actually the recon gonna come through. Avova finds a second now. It's just one card of standing. Avova with the third and heretics with a Lau creeping along forward, checking all the standard angles so he gets a chance on first and foremost, but Still a 4v4 post plant. Here's that go off, so he knows there's at least one player towards hell. Smoke goes down over. The Empress gets popped as well, so Heretic's gonna commit towards this. I hear it. We could indeed. That's it. The pink comes through on hell. Yeah, Bonkar will fall. Drak and swings off that. Lavova good for the trade. Another one though. Leo will pick up a freebie. Safe will find one up in heaven as well. Oh, the flag from safe should deny this hole. The adjustment from Lalo does he know what to do with this one? So he gets halfway, he can't. Oh, oh safe well has just played. clutched this out. The man. There still should be a jump peek at the back by the Sova. I'm pretty sure Rubino should know what's going on here. PP he comes out from above over that clears. There's no one there. This is not an A lean right now. They've already kind of dispersed through towards middle. Cage thirty seconds left. I'm going to throw down a little bit of a fake, making Heretics believe it might be a market split here, but I've overposted up. As soon as that comes through, yeah, found it now. And that's the, the lockdown invested preemptively elsewhere. Nookie going to find the kill, dismiss away. He's going to play his life. 13 seconds left on the clock now. And the pressure comes on to Gil to get this spike in. A dangerous plant now. He's open, super open. No time for it. And Pora with a quick swing back in. Really nice play from a... Safe is looking at, but... I feel like we might get a timeout <laughs> after this round. Do you have that feeling? Yeah. All right, let's see how this goes, though. Ultimate's now popped in. Here we go. Nukuri finds safe, though. So Bonka, desperate to make one of these land, probably doesn't quite find as much as he'd like. Three now remain. Yasin, Bonka, and Leo. Nuki's found Yasin. It's the double stack again. That hell play coming out. Leo in towards the right corner. The left side being Bonka. Two now drop. None of them to be found. Bonka gets one, but the numbers simply favor Heretics. And they pull off a very diligent retake once again. They're gonna like that. It's with that poor though. No smoke or anything to break that sight line. Draken gonna find a kill out of nowhere onto a over there, seemingly. I'm gonna apply the pressure towards tree a little there, but safe's gonna lose his life for it now. Again, spike to be planted. Killjoy this time though has even more to bring to the equation. Where did that what? go? It destroyed the lockdown. That's oh, huge. that's sick! Okay, fair enough. Okay, game back on. That is that is massive work, but they still need to weather the storm. And once again, you're seeing heretics just break onto the shore like waves, just completely unfazed by guild in this great attempt. I like what you're seeing, did. It took me a second to realize. And yes, he finds Rubina. So I want to see a switch up here. Now, the scary factor is the poor has now committed deeper utility because, well, they've been expecting this. And look Leaning at this, again. just absolutely having his way with them. Yasin's gone, Leo's dead. Now, there is a bit of a fight back. Draken and Bonka I find some exactly presence. They've cleared the site out. Now, it's a 3v3 post plan again. Now, look at the utility. Still okay. It's not as rife as we've seen before. But let's have a little way and see what the retake looks like. Actually, not much on the cards. One slow orb for heretics and a leer. Nookie, but gonna try and find some value with this nonetheless. Comes through safe holding close contact. He's gonna find the first kill here. And actually the pink comes through. Rubino will respond, but difficult here really for him to dig. Draken and Bonkar out of hell. Gonna drop down. We'll find a clean 1v1, but Bonkar holds the line behind that Aldrin. You look at the minimap right now, he's gonna get a free kill onto Rubino if he's not looking for it in there. 
We do see it in the background. That's actually going to open the entire of the map open for Guild. Now, see if now, they can capitalize off this. I want to see if your scene starts making presence towards A now. They can keep just pulling these rotations, bits of noises here and there. Save! Save! It's so good! This is the perfect way to exploit what heretics have been doing. We said about that mid lurk, we were looking towards seeing, you know, either Draken or Safe do it, and they found the right timing to probably give them this round. This should be five on the board, as Poor is a mile away. They know where he's been playing, he's been noted. That'll be in the, you know, the mental banks here. Good first step towards Leo, takes no, no damage, that's important, keeps himself <laughs> clean, ultimate thrown into the mix, a little bit more pressure added in, spotted on the spike, see when it commits. That's now, so much clutter. Yeah, look at this, look at the amount of smokes, look at all the utility that's just been thrown down. Now, Nuki's going to spot one towards the cubby up towards heaven, you see him does seen. better than him, nice work on that. Now, the spikes still hesitant to commit on this, I feel, they're looking for a frag and it's not coming. Let's just sit back. The Nano Swarm is what forces you seen out of that spot of over. Find another as well, so safe. Spike planted. Last man standing in heaven. Actually, no. Bonkar going to wrap up behind him here. But a 3v3. Standing ahead. What Gil can put together for this retake. See if they can do it just as well. Pora, super postured up. Pora. Super happy for a fight on that as well. Finds Bonka, spots out another. And they found Leo, so they know where the last player is. Safe now going to have to pull off a miracle play. A 1v3 on 7 HP. Time ticking. Got to make his move, and he starts to build forward. And you can see the crossfires. The first checkpoint would be that hell player in the deeper corner. There's nothing to be done on this. And keep in mind, he can play this however he wants, but he finds Rubino. Now, that's interesting, but it's Pora who takes the proactive angle to make sure... He's got two players towards Connector. Now, that Omen's kind of he's swinging in between. But here we go. Now, here's the... F oh, no. Look, he's just found your scene completely for free. And you're going to see, once again, more isolated players on the fight, but Draken just bails him out. I'm pretty sure he was blind then. Oh no, they're going to peek him. He gets detained. Bonkar, good for the trade. Good for a second as well. Lau, the last man standing. Leo will clean it up. In towards this now. There's been contact made through short. It isn't much Draken oh, no. now. That's good, though. He still gets one for his troubles. Cleared out, though. At least they went through the motions of clearing and they get the reward. Now they continue forward towards the side. They do have Reyna towards it. Now you're going to have Nuki on towards the side itself. Safe trying to do the dance, but his angles aren't favorable. Wide in the open. You can see them trying to bail him out of that spot, but they die for it. And now a 3v2. Bonker and seen. Not in the best spot for this, but trying to play together to play this back. Thing is, this is huge for Heretics. Rubino has to hunt this through. You can see him fall all the way back deep into A main here. Again, it's on a Vova and Lau to just run the clock down. Put the pressure back onto Guild in this retake scenario. That's it, going to get popped preemptively here by Rubino. But again, that plays as their favor, right? The clock is ticking away here. Guild will have to make a move. Lau will pick up Bonkar when he drops. The recon ball going to ping out your scene as well. And his days are numbered. Fine, Lau, the consolation. Actually, we'll find two as well. So that's huge. The nade could actually deal with Rubino as well, but he will escape. <laughs> A nice they're gonna try and rotate through short. They've lost control on this. This is sketchy. Now they're trusting in the guns by their side, but Yasin's got his own. Now he does trade out. Nuki now just powers forward. That was a little dangerous, but they took maybe the calculated risk, and it's down to Bonkar now in the 1v2. The turret should give it away and create such a favorable fight. Yeah. Bonkar tries to clear. And now what opportunity does it get given? Not a favorable one. It's gonna be Heretics. <sighs> Just building in the right direction. Make the way over here. We go, but the ultimate gets popped. That could be big for Bonkar. He's gonna find Rubino. He needs a little bit more than that, though. As Nuki's made it towards the site, and now suddenly there's problems. Leo swiftly handles it, and this hit's been just shredded. This is the guild you want to be seeing. And yeah, neural theft comes through. That's gonna reveal the last two players for Heretics, and they need a kill if they want to try and recover this round. They need it quick. We're going to pick up the orb just to make this as worthwhile as possible. And maybe they're just looking to do a little bit of damage. I mean, I want to see Guild kind of hold strong here. Actually, Lau going to swing in. They find two kills in quick succession. They finally respond, but Lau actually going to get somebody back on his feet. Brings it to a 2v2. 13 seconds left. They want to commit to this. Ten seconds left. Six seconds. Five. How do you find this? You don't guild. Lock it down. Lau can't find this. There's no time for the spike plant. Again, though, we'll have 
Well, that's the important thing, Guild. Do keep five alive safe. We'll now pick up a heal as well. They gotta dig loud out of this position you now, and the judge probably the worst thing for it. Leo, good for the trade though. And we'll get the res back up, so you would have the numbers advantage coming back onto this retake. Our timing, keep your eye on it. You considering it. Nookie still looking to be the first port of contact. Spins around, finds safe, spins around again, gets the double. And now it's just down to Bonka Nookie. in a very God, I was gonna say He's very so... reasonably. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got seven. And you mentioned the money before, and it's hard to not keep note of it. It's, it's a in the bin now. Cool. And that Haldron saying, they're in middle, so they're probably coming towards you. There's one. He needs more. It's a pain shell ready, doubles dips. That's a little look. He's trying to get a little deeper on that. That's pretty bold. Didn't quite receive damage. Now he has to respond, though. You can see the vision gets removed. Lau's found Bonkers, so this isn't going well across the map. And there oh, it is. A no. finds one. It's falling to pieces. Heretic surrounding Guild at all fronts. Draken and safe. Still desperately trying to hold on to this. And the middle duo. The last two to try and make it count. 30 seconds Have left. to try and play retake with a judge. But no, the upgrades. They've got rifles. And now this is it. Tournament life on the line. Heretic's on the verge of making it to the finals. And Guild staring down the barrel of the gun. Of over at the back site. Rubino has Rubino with him. And you're right, he's got the ultimate. It might be time to utilize it. Decides not to yet. There we go. Here it is. Hunter's Fury gonna lock down that right side. That is not available. Time beginning to dwindle. They've got to make their move and they've got to make it fast. Evova though spots out one, but actually safe slips away. Gets down, but no, Evova connects so perfectly. And now just Draken left in the 1v2. Heretics on the verge of it. And they Put that way. All the way onto B site immediately, actually. Starzo got it all to do. We'll go for a one for one trade, which isn't bad considering this pace set already in the pistol round from FPX. Ascend. Why did I take that spike. Yeah, I was okay, going to okay. say, yeah, if they go to retake elbow here, it could be tricky. Spike planted. Spike is down. First fight begins. Bone cold. Joined by Cena. That's pretty important. Xiao's there as well, though. Xiao plays the angle so much better on this one. Yeah. Just dipping back and forth. Kept con complete control of the fight. But the side has been taken back over by Ascend. Now they touch towards the spike, try and draw that first peak, and they do. So they now know where the three players are. But how do you dig them out of these positions? Shadow even still has utility to pull into play. Now, again, Kieles tries to make something of this. Pulls a player out, but Dima Sick is right Ooh. there. FPX. Perfectly played in the really. Actually, you're, if you are now put down to four players, part of you wants to get aggressive to try and maybe even it out. And, and Cena has done just that. That plays into it really well. But actually, they just lost the fight on the other side. Kila has tried to get the information too, maybe a little bit too aggressive on this. Now, Call the Mentor is in no man's land. He's yeah. dead. He's done for. Demasic is right there, perfectly placed. There's that spike being picked up. Now, the TP came in. They've got to be aware of this. I think Xiaomi have just heard enough steps and this double stack is hard to break and you're not going to. FPX, man. This team is looking so sharp. Like, they, they're they actually just playing everything right. And it's the anticipation factor. It, it, it's the timings. It, it's it's holding the right angles. As soon as something happens elsewhere on the map, they're equipped to deal with it and follow up and react perfectly. Seen it once again in a position where, again, here, look for some damage. Try and get a kill. I don't even think FPX are going to give that to him. Shadow just committed to this angle right now. I'm just... I, I look at FPX as being such a well-rounded team. Cena's going to get a little exit, but that's fine. You, you look at the bonus that they pulled away. FPX were on their bonus round. Came in with you. Don't be really giving it to the way. Actually, the, the swing comes through, but FPX find the first two and the third. A brilliant clearance here. Bone Cold just has to sit. And wait this one out. Elas will rejoin his teammate, but Spike planted. <laughs> both in hooker, it is going to be difficult for them here really to get anything done. Again, got to close the distance. Demasic there to greet Bone Cold, and they heard the TP as well. Cold and CNED to pick up the slack. Let's see. Zipan going to get up top here. Going to get a lot of damage onto him, but isolate that kill as well. Angel there for the pinch. A beautiful take from FBX. Oh, look at that. Ascend respond with two kills of their own. Gets grounded. Okay, there's still, there's still a bit of space on this. Oh, it's just been ripped away. There it goes. As soon as there's like a chance for a center, maybe snowball in a little bit of, you know, a bit of room, the gap filling work from FPX is so sharp and so aware. They'll put themselves on the line for the greater good. And now Kiles gets a little bit of wiggle room here. But now gives away the game. He can't, he can't not. FPX has this so sewn up, good. dude. I, 
this is the perfect might be stealing the uh, calls from brazil but we are back underway it seems as though the timeout has come to a close and a quick Just piece quick play off the back of angel and the tp oh my god Yep, Zipan just charges oh, his way on. He's going to find the second as well after the showstopper. This is insane from FBX. Again, usually a team that's very slow. So easy. Like, Angel. FBX are putting on such a sick display. Now, Angel on the... As an operator. ...does with this. <laughs> Angel, what year is this? Well, it's not your year. It's CNED's for now. He's going to at least take down that element, and that's a spike lost. Now, that's an interesting little bit of information CNED can relay here. How much do they want to read into this? Because keep in mind, B-Long's kind of under wraps with Viper committing towards that. They've got good utility to Atuka. So I'm kind of waiting to see how FBX now try and adjust to this. Kiles gives away his position. Mm. Careful now. Yeah. Gotta stay alive. Gotta keep this ultimate up because it gives them so much control over this side of the map. Seen it again. Spike down A. We'll Break find work. the spike. The second on the round now. Again, we know he's a player of momentum. Now we'll respond, Bone Cold falls in showers. FPX need to retrieve this spike and come up with a plan. Yeah, it does opt to back away from this, but eventually we'll go back and yeah, he'll know that that's been recovered now. You can see the play towards showers, that's perfect timing. This is really well done for CNED and the combination with Cordamenta. But now Cordamenta goes down, this is going to leave it towards CNED. He does have support in Stark, so on towards the side. Zipan tries to bait towards a spike plant, but CNED's there again. CNED might just be single-handedly keeping Elise Ascend with a round, and he does do. You don't get to out-op him right now, look, Angel. Over on this side. FPX actually poised. To make this entry here, Cold and Mentor gonna find Demisic the Rolling Thunder gets sent through from showers, but not sure if they can actually get any value off that scene once again. We'll shut up, and that's the spike. It's out in the open. Here we go. Maybe the difference maker does need to be seen at. Sometimes you gotta call upon your star players to deliver a star performance. That spike being where it is has eliminated many opportunities. Committed to a treacherous area. Angel's going all the way around. Second. Now, this is on Shao to stay alive for a second. Buy some time. Hold some of this. Now, that spike is safe, at least from heaven, and a scene head. Seconds left. One He's looking ferocious up there. Killers has found Angel. This is under wraps. Very well played again from scene head. Single handed performance is keeping them in this. Yes. FPX aren't going to be on a full buy. Angel actually going to close down the distance. Bone Cold and Starzo fall very early on A side. Climbing's everything on this scene. Ed tries to get himself right into the thick of things. And that's the spike. Now, keep in mind, Killers is also kind of closing in here. Now, Angel's created a lot of space and kept safety, but they need to be careful of the flank coming through. And it looks like they're aware of it now. Scene Ed's going to get spotted. Here we go. The ultimate gets popped, but the spike goes down. Gets out of dodge, or at least he believes so, because Killers is still there. Find Zipan. And now the 3v3 in the post plant. Killers tries to get himself ready to go on this clear out towards Lamps, U Haul, Aladdin, wherever it may be. But Shadow waits in the corner. And now the flash goes through just to ensure no trade was going to come through from that. And now Cena has to progress forward. We've got two shock darts, but no recon right now. Shao going to deal with Cena very easily. Ooh, the timing, but he just caught Coleman to slip in into lamps. Angel will be there to greet him on the other side. A little bit of an off angle. Coleman to finds a consolation, but FPX will go 8-2 up now and... Timing is going to be a huge element to this. There's 40 seconds on this hit. And the main crossfire is going to be held towards this kind of short play. The one way is still in place. So Bone Cold gets that scene. It's back on over. You don't get away from him. He double plays on this. He comes back around. But Diva Sick with the double out of nowhere. But now it's just Shao. And it's still scene. Ed. This man is... Members of FBX, if he does opt to go for this, though, can he get one to get away? He does again. Demon Sick falls. They're going to try and charge him down here. Zipan, they just on the other side. The oh, my God! Cena finds oh. another one. Oh. Oh, another, another. Shadow falls. Cena is insane right now. Cena's absolutely on fire. No one can touch this guy. He has just dominated this. They expected him to fall away, but he stayed out there. He got caught by all of it, and he still manages... He still manages to continue. And now off the back of the flash, he falls further forward. Has a little look, sees nothing. But he knows he's got them quaking in their boots. Killers finds Angel. And now just Shao. And he does take down CNED, which is probably half of the value of the team right now, if you look at the scoreboard. But the rest smother that spike. He does get it back to hand, so maybe a little bit of more space could be found? I don't know. It's still two towards A at this point. Interesting that they've gone for that. Here we go. Should now note the player. Double stack towards long. 
<laughs> oh my god. The shock dart comes through the orbital strike for good measure, but it's actually stars though. Black and white choice. It's either contest before plant comes in or sit back and, and kind of challenge that post plant setup they have. Angel actually going to find CNED. Good opener here for FPX in the pistol round. Is it going to be played in quietly on this too? Is this now Angel will fall, but do they still check? No, they don't. He gets one, he could get the second, he does. The adjustment couldn't have been better for him, and now that's going to create a huge amount of space. The last two are going to find it hard to make this count. The three play back in through Hookah. Now they go for the safe spike plant, at least that does give him a bit of time. And Bone Cold trying to isolate the fight towards CT, but Starks has to live on the site, and that's going to be a trickier case than just saying it. But Bone Cold, how much more can you do? Not oh, that overwhelmed. Much. And potentially contest this plant coming through. Oh, he does spot them there, actually. Yeah, they are going to get the clean plant. They keep five alive here. Again, now we look towards the Sen's utility. They have the Molly. They have one snake bite left on Keyless. Nothing for Cold Amenta, though. See this retake in action now. FBX come pouring through. Because they want to challenge it early. This is perfect. This could be interesting. The dink isn't enough to take down Stark, so he actually doubles down on it, finding Shao as well. And these kills are more than enough for Ascenders, as we only see Shadow left alive. This force back in has worked wonders for them after that messy start to things. It's a perfect... Now, the thing is, the FPX re Shao, where does that come from? The Assassin. Now, they check on it, but... No, they what? don't. Stark's always having utility in their hand. This is mayhem. Angel is behind enemy lines. He gets traded out on. Finally, Bone Core takes him down, but it is a 3v2. Now, 2v2. The guns do outweigh, of course. Cold Amenter and Bone Cold way better equipped than the rest of FPX. Dima Sick onto the Sheriff and Shadow still lingering around towards CT. This is going to be hard to catch. Dima Sick not gifted a free pixel out of place. Bone Cold has that molly. Still has three smokes as well, so... Oh, why they haven't been, but Cold Amenta, when you get that kill, I guess it's ultimate online. Bone Cold cleans it up and he time actually. Bone Cold going to get a clean plant. Now, this is huge. Angel swings out. Stars are going to trade it out. Two towards you, Hulk. And Viper and Sova. Short, yeah. Viper and Sova combo in these post plants are filth. And they're going to spot them out. Oh, Killers goes really? down. They actively look for those fights and they were giving them Stark, so just tries to control the spray and now the 1v2 grenade goes in and Zipan finds it really well handled one at that they're not taking their time Plant comes in ultimate comes down that could have been a problem Zipan what a way to say absolutely not I'm good to go boys got my ultimate ready gonna send that down if he has the suspicion no one in the corner nothing there just sends it and actually look where that spike's going Hypoc. Yeah, they've had to hit this rotate all the way over. Angel actually gonna TP into heaven. He's here to greet death. Hunter's Fury onto default, but it's actually onto triple that decide to plant this. Now Elis does have his utility. He actually has his ultimate there, opting not to pop it on site, but I don't doubt that he has a lineup for this plant spot either. See this now got all to do. Nobody checks it yet. Shadow will trade it through. The rolling thunder gets invested. Yeah, but here's the post plant problem. It's gone halfway though. Angel's no just going to sit this and he might just have the time for it. it. Oh my word. That was so well done. But this is it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. FPA. Here. Whether or not Asen can come in, get this plant down. Demon Sick actually going to find a kill at the back of his trap wire. That's Keyless. That's a big kill to get here. Again, his ultimate was up and he's at post plant strength. He's pushing. He's pushing! Dima sick! He no just read way. the pace so well. Even if he dies now, look, look at, at the speed. absolute momentum from these boys. FPX just have a stranglehold on its end. And they do not allow CNED to get away with anything. It's the they have perfect. the perfect read. 12 to 6. Recovery was impressive. But it's not forever. CNED still does early work towards Zipan, so there's still a good chance at this with that sort of beginning. See how it's end actually. On the back of his bone cold, gonna find another shadow creeping on that smoke. He's open indeed. Is Demon Sex flexed all the way over onto a site here? And Keyleds finding that kill is actually gonna keep FPX interested. They want to hold on to this. A hey? utility from Demon Sick obviously still Where's active. The going? I don't know why it's oh. coming back here. This is this is they've, they've overcooked it, they've overthought this. Oh no, they're going to hit with like 35 seconds and there's still so many players here. Demon 6 dead, but there's still one close by. It's Shao. And Shao would have to dig deep for this to work out, but 
Waiting, he's buying his time to be on 1v4. This would be insane. That's one. Now he needs a lot more. He spotted at least one on site. Looks back. Double dips. He's two on site. Now he knows. He's tr far away. Full buy coming out from Ascend. And yeah, both sides. Raf was across the board here. Ascend are in a position where they have one round in hand. Yeah, fan actually just... Okay, yeah. Look at this aggression from FBX. They're actually happy to push out, take these fights out. Angel's got one isolated. To find in Keyless, but a one for one trade initially. And again, it's Keyless that falls. <laughs> but now, Shadow prepares himself. He knows that there's going to be trouble coming his way. Tries to swing and gets a dink on it. I think Cena's going to be down to super low HP, and he is. Shout's going to clean it up, mop it up, comes out with the cleaning crew, and so now they're good. down to three. Where's the adjustment? It's back towards B. This gives away the game. Shout knows what's up. Going to send out the Owl drone. Yep, okay, two coming this way. Maybe one long. Who knows where that last is? Let's have a little wait and see. They hit the brakes for a second and shout out to Mystic offering up his timings. Just, you know, in case, you know, they need some help. I appreciate that, Mystic. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> but at 12 to 7, it's all on the moves here from Ascend. How do they create space? How do they regain a favor towards a site? It's a 2-2 split either side for FPX. So they will have number advantage whichever side they go towards. Yeah, and actually Shadow holding pretty deep on there, not even looking for that. Again, it's off the back of, I guess, Angel up in heaven. Again, they don't have that safety net. They don't have the wall that... Oh my god, the fault line is so good. The flash is even better, but what? Bonecold still found that kill? Bonecold is just something else. I don't know what that man's made of, but 10 seconds and no spike plant to be seen just yet. Down to nine. Yes, they know one, and actually Bonecold! He keeps it safe! What a moment to find it! Ultima comes in just trying to secure space, but on the way out, Demon Sick does not let them leave! Stay up. He'll be fixed up. Maybe. He might have got the ace. <laughs> Maybe he did ace. Yeah. Dude. Look, if it is, we get to watch it back now. Cena did find two on the entry. Look towards heaven, found another, and it looks like Cned will carry on where he left off. Kind of doubling, tripling, acing down at this point. So yeah, it, it's a very well played out round, clearly for Cned here. Uh, the UI just just knew before we oh, did. It's a beautiful work from Cned. Apologies for that. Hopefully it all gets smoothed out now. Kind of uh, yeah. And ready for the wall up actually. Just gives away the angle quick enough. Zip bang gonna find both kills though. Darzo and Bone Cold. That's it, that's the spike down in main, so CNED gotta find something, he will trade down, finally. Oh, and we'll find a second as well. Okay, look, I, I, I have to just keep believing in this guy now. I, no matter what he does, he seems untouchable. He finally goes down, but the value he creates every single time. But it's put into Cold Amenta's hands and he can't make it work for him. Three now. Ascend. Flex back out towards mid here. FBX actually situated pretty well for this market speed. You can see Angel's yep. tucked in pizza and Shadow ready with the flash for him. Uh, they're in really good positions for this. A hard clear works oh, for Bone Cold though. The, the, he just walks up middle. No noise to it. The spam from behind. He just walks up and takes the fight. Angel's probably left there like, who takes that fight? Just dry. Just didn't even care. Either well prepared or just well positioned. And now they fall away from middle. They've got the control. But Oh, Cned! He backed himself to win and Demasek outdoes him this time. And I almost don't want to doubt his confidence because sometimes you've got to play like you're going to win. And for now, he has been. But a 3v3 begins and Demasek, the reposition could be huge here, but does he dip through his... Oh, the adjust! He just snapped his wrist! But look at the control! Still showing off. Demasek wants more. The timing's going to be unfavorable. As Starkso now gives himself a 1v2. Covers the spike and now has to try and define these two kills. The utility does have the heal. The fault line going to come through as well. Actually, they're going to swing on top of that. There you go. Fantastic clearance there. Shadow and Shao, but Demasic. Nation looked for. Hold a mentor on that case. We backed out of that one. Didn't want to give it. Wait. Oh, no way. Yeesh. Don't feel like you're just. Someone's like a step ahead of you. Now, the one bonus is CNED still bailed them out of a player disadvantage, and they're going to split the defensive side. You can see the reaction wanted from FPX was to get aggressive towards short, but Bone Cold this time steps up and finds a way forward. If we get a Bone Cold CNED combo, Ascend suddenly elevate drastically. Now the rotation going to be caught by Killers, finds one bonus of having Reyna, gets to back away and readjust. Invulnerable at that point, and now Shao put in unfavorable position but no one's watching this yet okay no 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 cena turned around could be okay and cena plays catch 
Well done again, Cned. Just the grand equal. Him a fair bit and punishing him. So this could be interesting if that's something they try and exploit again. Cover going out. Nobody on B site right now. But oh, what? Cned just comes in the back. He finds the opening. Xiao luckily stacked up for the trade there, but an opening created and. Look at Ascend. They're going to hit straight onto A on the back of this. Yeah, they've got so much space. This is a very well-considered round and a very well-handled round. Bone Cold leading forward. FPX do invest the res, though. That's Shadow back on his feet, so it's still a 4v4 here. We see what can happen in post plants, so, but here we go. Ultimate's now coming online. It's Killers to find Angel. Stops him ahead and no trades come in. This is Shadow now popping it back, though. Gets the tag, not the frag. Stark's on a bit of a late lurk through middle, but this is all coming in through heaven, at least for now. I'm actually going to pop the Rolling Thunder through on this as well. Shadow going to clear our hell with that. Flash comes through. What? Bone Cold actually lost that. Cold Mentor will trade back through, but numbers advantage in favor of Ascend here. Zipan and Shao, the last two, they will get cleaned up. Gilles, the final kill goes there. Only Danger Man in this round. Traditionally, he has the rifle, but bringing that anywhere you can use it is going to be hard. But these post plants, there are three dedicated towards the site, and that late joining of the two who are over towards A actually creates a lot of safety. They can clear back through those B halls and be like, well, no one's here. You can focus towards that connector, focus towards CT, and it just makes this almost impossible. At this point here, I'm well, not, we see FPX look to just hold them, do some damage, make sure as many die as possible. You're going to come through. Challenge very late on this retake. But look at that. Demon Sick and Angel both fired kills. Bone Cold responds to of his own. Okay, Bone Cold's up to the fight. And now the 2v1, but time. And if Xiao's got enough of it. And a good attempt, but not quite good enough. Ascend, look, it's it's getting costly between both. I don't know. Is it? It is just enough of a one way that he's benefiting, benefiting from this. Yeah. He still doesn't have to move. They are locked to this. Oh, Zipan! Ferrari peeks him out of there. How does Zipan hit that? Just the pre-fire on the cross, just feeling that pressure. And now it's game back on. Cold Amenta wants revenge for his fallen buddy, but it's going to be Shadow with one good one, but then the swing out gives at least a chance for an answer from Bone Cold. And look at these scrappy fights on either side. The spike is still back by spawn. This was never a fully intended sight hit, but now they've succeeded so well towards A, it's open and it's vulnerable. We have two remaining. Angel towards middle. That's going to be red, I feel, at this point. He's been... Kind of a we have to stop it. No real pressure coming in. It's going to allow us then to set up for this post plant. We can see what the first opportunity would be. Shao can play through heaven. You're not going to be able to dig the player out of hell. Maybe the one on... The <laughs> this is the, the awkward thing with the post plants, right? If you get two players stacked towards that hell side and then one towards maybe main, then it's tricky. But they're actually kind of condensing towards the site. So maybe there's a chance towards Stark. So here, let's see how well he holds this. Angel gonna get caught off guard. Very tricky angle to play against. Look at these angles they're holding and just toying with Xiao now as he gets put to bed eventually. He did find Stark, so but that was about it. So good work in the is there's all of those potential dangers have been dealt with. That little bit of aggression towards you know B main could have been something. Doesn't equate to much, and they keep them at arm's length. Now, yes, Demasic does find Gilles. It is a 2v3. Actually goes for his ult on this. Well, what can he get out of this? I mean, they've seen CNED, but just noting where CNED is doesn't mean you're going to get much else. Now, the gun is on the other side of the cross, so that's a bit of an issue, but Zipan just beheads CNED. Okay, maybe now game on. Let's see how much more they can do. There's rifles to be recovered here. Oh, Diva Sick! He does even more now. Call the mentor. Called upon in the final moments. The 1v1! He takes the fight! The bomb! Going back into what's probably going to be a 3-2 split with... Darkso collecting the spike and heading down towards Kill, as I imagine. But it's Bone Cold. That's the opportunity. Huge opener. Bone Cold finds it. That's now game on. You should just pour forward on this, and they are. Zipan has to fall away. Give up the angle. He's going to get towards heaven, actually. Angel's got decent time on this. That's not bad. The pressure wasn't quick enough through main. They got that maybe a little bit too successfully. They didn't even expect it. Angel again. Death from above. And now cena has got a dirty angle, though. He's at least going to keep one of the two potential... What? Cena, do you have the best map of your life, and that's the shot you miss? But then Bone Cold still wins this? I Angel's gone walkabouts, but this has all been no Ooh! Cold Amenta! Absolutely nutmegged. He's having a brutal time. He just wants to yeah. play around with his little drone and he's just getting absolutely pushed around. I feel like it was Keyless that was hunted on the last map of this time around. It's yeah. Cold Amenta. And that's the Hunter's Fury off the board. Stars are nowhere near the res and Here. Again, we know how impactful, I mean one of the most impactful ultimates in the game, Dima Sick. 
Bike cam gonna catch all this info finally spotted out there. We're waiting for more from Bone Cold, but he did get by Zipan, and now everyone's over here. Cena's gonna have to dig deep on this one. Not allowed. Zipan predicting maybe a little bit of aggression through those B-holes, and it's not wrong. Angel's got a lot of room here. It would shut that door, keep the vision gone. Now, nice towards heaven, maybe checking towards hell, just in case there's a player, but they put it all for free. This is a straight-up retake. Now, the timing's everything. Look at not this, but Breach on the other side. Oh, my Seen God. Seen way too aware. Find Shadow. And now there's three players on a flank. This means, yes, they're light in heaven, but these post plants are dicey. I mean, they've got time to sit this out. Zipan now with the ghost. He's post up, could potentially play distance here, but Bone Cold backs him up and will eventually trade that out. Now, Angel there. Oh, Bone Cold. Cold again. This guy's insane today. He's having a game. Shao now called into attention. These are pretty tricky fights and they're tradable. And you can see a Shao now has to go big or go home. This is mad work from us. Dotting the eyes. Now, the spike will planted. We've got to see what the Lurk looks like. Actually, no. Demosic didn't quite go for the Lurk. He's joined them by main. Starkso and CNED, though, on the playback through. I love this. They're going to try and play it aggressively as well. Nobody on site. They're going to try and challenge as three onto Starzo in the spawn. CNED now. That still has some utility. The dash, most importantly, and a couple of smokes to boot. Starzo able to creep up here. And if they could explode at the right time, Stars are going to find Shao. That's a big opening, actually. They find both kills on site. It's Demosic. He's left trailing. He's wanted B main. He's got to give away his position. Diffuse coming through halfway already. The smoke down. Oh, my word. The send Cracker 2v3 retake. The main sure. They'll, they'll get a fight on it. Shao keeping a fair cracker distance. Enemy yeah, beautifully <gasps> done. Really nice Oof. from Shao. The intuition is just right. Bone Cold, though, gets pinched on. That's the burst that FPX were looking for. Maybe waiting for that little bit of control to build towards B main. But the send left in towards the retake. And Cold Amenta has nothing to bring into this. Yeah, the, the body and the utility, but none of that left. And just the classic by his side. Starkso and Cnet, they pulled off the, what, 2v3 before? Now they've got a 3v4. Four, and the first doesn't happen. Cordamenta goes down, but Demosic receives a touch of damage, but now he's in a bit of a pinch. Expect Cned in that position. Demosic's coming online as well, but they need more of this. It can't just be those bits and pieces. Stark, so maybe looking to catch a few on the way out here, but not really in the position to make much more of it. I was like, just going to look to get a couple of constellations. Maybe Demosic's still holding on to this, though. Stars I come down top. Angel there, good for the trade. We'll keep three alive here, and that's three rifles. He's See. walking mid. That's going to be huge. And it is Shadow already going to receive just a blow to the gut on this one. Shadow now down. CNED readjusting around, goes the long way through, just in case there's maybe some pressure coming through from B main. and can slowly replay in towards middle as well. They've still kept control. control. Bone Cold's still there. And this is the problem now that this operator's online. It's going to keep FPX... I mean, it's going to force them to play so cautiously in the early round. We did. We, we saw how many times it happened on bind. Shadows traveling. FPS is kind of drifting back and forth now. Seen it's just been. Thirty seconds left. Such a threat to them and again now. Do do the same here on ascent. Alton comes through. Not actually spotting Starzo's positions. I think he can go unchecked on lane for the time being. DB6 actually going to clear through, so FPX will find the entry they're looking for. 10 seconds left on the clock, they need to get this spike down. They do, but it's going to be tricky to play back in, even even with CNED on that op. He might have to depend on the ult if they want to go for this, as it stands. Here we go. Three going to play back through connector. You've got Xiao going to be put to task on that, potentially, and the CT approach is pretty much only CNED, so this is all going to be kind of the back and forth. Angel going to send a little bit of utility to try and just kind of split up this play back in. Xiao's going to find Bone Cold. No quick trades available. Cold and Menta finds two. CNED turns that op into a shotgun and just shoves it down Angel's throat, and there it is. Sick retake again from Ascend. They want this. They'll put in whatever. This, you're going to see the mid peak maybe being found by CNED. Not sure if he saw it. Ultimate is popped though, so that's Cold and Menta going to send a couple down. One's going to come back in, and he's actually going to receive it. It's going to be Shao taking down Killers, but the trade-out came through. That was with Angel dying on this one. So they haven't really gained too much progress yet. They're just going to have to either walk a smoke or hold. That's going to opt to walk right the way through. Seen it now. Fucking market. What? Shao actually lands a headshot there onto Seen it. They somehow still picks him off, and that gives the man advantage back over. 
to ascend. Bone Cold creeping here. Zip Man top of the wall. He's ready for it though. Look at that. Across that place was shot. on. Yeah. I, I just saw a tracer come through that was like just whizzing past the head. Seen it almost had him. Rez comes out, the swing comes in. Stark so trades it effectively though. He's gonna keep this going. Invest back in on the Rez as well. And now Shadow in all kinds of trouble. He's got Dima sick with him. The 2v3 time is gonna start to tick, and you can see that Rainer coming back on, and here we go. The playback in Gillis is there! And Stark so as well. Good. FPX taken. Now already, Presence pushed further forward, forced away. Seen it though, flashed off the angle and they can't make Presence yet. The pressure now, oh, you got one for it. I thought Stark's might have been unnoted, but seeing it on the adjustment here. Swings around towards heaven, Ops the ultimate, and gets ready to go up. Oh, Seen it! Just so good! Anything that they need, he is willing to put his body on the line for. And now he finds more presence towards short. What does he do with this now, though? You got Shadow in towards hell. Hard to pry players out of that position. Angel now vision gets limited. Put into a cone. Demasic does find bone cold. And now it's just down to the one man Cena. Does he go for this? He's got three players in front of them. Spike ticking against him. Angel's still there. Player towards hell. He yes! found one. Oh, there was a chance. Oh, oh, oh. But and like you said, it, it's the willingness to just throw himself at the fight. Okay, look, Bone Cold hits these. The wall come up so he can expect for it. There you go, Angel falls. And actually comes back and bails Keeler's out of that spot as well by dealing with the Owl Drone. Keeler's will be able to stay there. Starzo as well going to find a kill. What? And Cold Amenta as well. Down. What is it, going on right now? Is this how you get through to map three? With pistols? Now the rifles start filtering back. It's on Shao and Shadow for pride's sake. You don't wanna you don't wanna lose like this. And Shadow starts feeling the burn through connector, invests every bit of utility he has, but this isn't gonna hinder that cross. But now they make it through. Now what do they do with this? You still have seen it, you have Starks, you have Cold Amentus on the clutch players coming into the no, shower wants to get ahead of it. Tries to wrap around. He's gonna at least catch a glimpse of Cold Amenta. Cnet tries to back away. Shao does get one, but the trade comes out. Cnet finds him. It's all on shadow. And in the round that was never meant to be the closer, it's gonna be done. Ascend. Only one team can make it to those finals. And FPX, maybe. There's just that lingering feeling of we won't miss it again. Surely not. Three players noted now towards the A site and a quick explosion from FPX. I want to talk about the pace they're coming in with after this. If it works, we saw their mid aggression last time, how quick they like to play this. This is a switch up of pace. Stark so up above just has to watch this happen and watches as he just puts in his grave. Zip out and Shao finding two quick kills. And now into the post palm, they get a 5v3 to start with. This now is called a mentor. Drift back over. We're gonna upgrade to the ghost. The hop up top doesn't see anything, but this is gonna be an awkward peek. Achilles does actually get the better of Angel over the top of that. Shao just holding close by. Demon Sick gonna find one. Cold Amenta will respond. Shao back though with a second and a third. Has to readjust. He's gonna be feeling the pressure here. And oh, he's caught off the timing. Gets the gun back out, but no, loses life for it. Demon Sick creates a huge opportunity now. This will force that stack to dissipate his presence. And I'm looking at that spike to see if it now responds in kind. Shadow's there, a quick deep flash to go in. Trying to maybe force anyone off those opening angles that could have maybe had a fight. Wall goes up. Spike can now be planted. Now the wall kind of cutting across will keep this kind of defending side from being able to play back in easily, but Zenith's found some space and he's found that confidence once again. Cold Amenta's right there. A quick zip away from Zipan. Flies out of there. No danger this time. And he's still got some utility. Dimasic res invested. Brings back Shadow. Looks for the peak on it. Oh, he didn't catch his it. You can so see good. that they wanted it so bad, but Dimasic, just the rock of this team, creates a 3v2. Cold Amenta, Starkso, still alive, but only for so long. And Aldrone's going to cross paths here and the sky. So that's two agents noted here. And actually, the showstopper are going to get invested as well. Zipan throws it over but doesn't find anything from it. But he does find his space though. Secures the site for it. Now, whether or not they take the spike here, I'm looking towards their sage to see if they make it cross through. It looks like it's there now. Cold Amenta wanted to maybe have a little look towards it but finds nothing. Now, seeing it's going to be not necessarily enough. It's very hard to make it work here. Cold Amenta finds one. Bone Cold as well. Gilles is there. Suddenly ascend. Wake up and shut this down. Shadow's dead and see Ned. Just He's a one-man army. He's seen some information which knows he can kind of feel as though the commitment's coming. Spike to be planted. That's not an initial target. He looks around, sees nothing, sees finally a pixel out of place, catches them. Oh, he gets away. How did he get away from that? Shao's gonna be kicking himself. Cold and Mentor's there too. And now look at look at Cena. He's waiting to go on this one. He's dying to get involved in this. He's gonna take the aggressive angle. No, it's Killers. And now it's just gonna be Cena to try and put up the numbers with Bone Cold. Coming back in! Oh Cena again! Brutality being shown. It will cost ascend only to survive but 
I mean, seeing it actually through the bike. Just going to kind of litter the approach. This is horrible to try and come in against. The placement on this is actually BM. <laughs> it covers the second level. Bokol can sit inside here. Aldo will spot him out. Actually, uh, Zipan? Uh, yeah, maybe expecting Bokol to back away from that after the Aldo spotted him. But Starzo going to double down on that. Shao will fall. FPX are down to three, and they've got limited information behind them. Shadow's going to be tasked with occasionally keeping the eye on that. They go for the res being the furthest forward. It's a little risky here. Does have the spike. See what he does with this. Wall goes up. Considering the cross, but Cold Amenta still has yeah, it. The angle's really favorable. The spray from Angel is good. That will find him, but Cold Amenta got two for that. Absolutely worth that trade. He'll take that all day long, and Angel's now being surrounded. Oh, poor old Angel. Does he even realize how much trouble he may be in? Or do they pass each other? No. Bone Cold turns and turns in time. Finds him with Members of FPX creeping up here. Oh, just back and forth. Angel goes for the jiggle, lands the headshot. We'll give them an opportunity here as well. That wall goes down. It's going to cut off the spawn entrance. Yeah, is anyone pinching up towards long? That's where the game changer could come in. Bone Cold, good for one trade, but then goes down for us now. <gasps> oh. To hold your breath. CNED's under pressure. Finally gets out done. They <sighs> smother him. Absolutely <laughs> surround him on all fronts. And now Sarkso and Cold Amenta. In a very unfavorable situation, trying to catch that cross, Zipan denies. And now game back on, Starkso in the 1v4. This is surely going to be an FPX round. Off the back of having so little, Spike goes down. Starkso does well to find Shallow, and even gets a heal in here. Has the res. I mean, if he gets another kill, he could invest this here. Oh no, Angel. Minimap lurking through, comes under tube here. Starzo kind of expecting it. This round on the back of just two rifle purchases for FBX, and they pull this out of nowhere. Also, just going to opt, I guess, to look to do a little bit of damage. Make them repurchase some of this, but... He's going to be given one. Yeah, Angel will fall, and again, it's... it's doesn't really make a difference for FPX. This is a round win out of, like I said, virtually no investment. And now there's trouble at plenty up above. He does at least get the trade out on towards one, though. So this is still pretty valuable. Spike to be planted. Spike planted. And again, Stardo has that res. They can secure backside. They can potentially get that. But oh my god, Angel tries to throw the ult down immediately. Dealt with by Cold Amentra. That's massive for Ascend. Oh, and seen it, then just makes his appearance. It's still a 3v3 here. Res comes in. It's going to be messy on the side, but Shao going to be putting up bodies. Three already. He needs more, though. He needs so much more. Stark, so and Killer still there. Then he holds his breath and waits. He tries to find the timing. Catches him on the reload. Not going to get it, though. Finds one. He needs another, and he gets it. Seen it. This is new. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> CNN's in trouble. CNN's in big trouble here, but he's trying to be bailed out by Cold Amenta. Anyone trying to help him out here has been met by Force, though. And CNN now just behind enemy territory. He's, how's he get? He's still alive here. Everyone else has died trying to help him out of this spot, it seems like. And there's so much room now for FPX. Yeah, and actually, they're going to note Bone Cold's position as well, so he's got to be careful not to lose his life. FPX actually going to swing away from B. Again, they noted CNED and Bone Cold over here, so Angel actually threads his way into Kitchen. He might even catch this rotation on CNED. This would be huge. Looking towards the minimap on this. Killers just has to try and buy as much time as he can. He gets a freebie, but he can't. Looks like FBX already going to try and hunt. You can see Xiao over in mid. Angel now swinging down towards B lane. Well, actually, he had a recon bolt. Not going to ping Bone Cold. We'll be gifted another one. And any more damage again onto the economy. Fantastic for him, a bonus at this point. Oh, I need to swing out. Oh, actually, yeah, gonna find Shadow as well. No way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Comes down to the Viper duel. Ultimate does have his Hunter's Fury up. Now CNED will open it up. Angel falls. How does he look comfortable what? here? How does he still get that? Demosec dies and it's still. Looking like they're in control. It's down to two. Zipan and Xiao have to go clutch once again. Spike not planted. Xiao needs to find some space, find some room. Killjoy invested. That's one. It can't be converted now. Ten seconds. Zipan knows he's got to frag out or go home. And this one is done for. Ascend. Get it on the board. Well, you, you can't get much more. He's trying his best to be a problem. And he is being a problem. Good damage, but none converted to kills. And now Ascend do at least get the spike planted. And you can see the trade out happening. Starkso finds Dima Six, so a zip and answer right on back. Angel takes the sign, continues forward. These post plants are dangerous. Where 
Who's going to deny this? No, no one so far. Wait, what is the plan here? He's gone off the defuse for a second. You can see now we're down to what? A 2v2 as it stands? Angels Seen on it 10 from mid. Seen it came through on the flank through mid. He's going to get a 1v1 here with Zipan somewhere. Oh. Keyless. Oh my god, Angel. He falls to the turret. Zipan's got to tap the spike. He comes round. Keyless cleans it up. Ascend wall though. We'll crack a little hole in it initially. Shadow finds Bone Cold and that's the opening FBX probably we need. It gives them the man advantage. Keep our eyes on these post plants though. He oh. has the lineup he believes. Sends that through. Open for the best. The old Killjoy main next to me should know if that's right or not. Zenith still gets one but dies for it. Tries to keep his value high but now keep your eyes towards that spike as well. Angel is one furthest forward. His task is to keep them back. Diffuse coming in. Nothing is stopping this right now. There's two players alive and they are useless in this. The kill, sure, but the round, regardless, goes the way of FPX. Yeah, can't. That's it, yeah. one towards Shao. Shao. <gasps> <That's what, gasps> Zipan. Keyless and Starzo fall. Shao finds one another as well, but Cned will trade it back, but wow. What a hold. It certainly is Shao. they do what he can on the way out. None of the spam really finds much. Luckily, they stay alive, and the ultimate gets invested. That's going to be Bone Cold just shutting this one down. That might be the doors being shut. No chance oh. here. Shao's found Bone Cold. Maybe there is a chance. They're gonna fight back in. Killer's back on his feet though. And now still look how many arrive. Cold Amenta finding FPX. Dima 6 still gonna try and do some work. But the numbers are so unfavorable. But look at Dima 6 go. Find this other one. He's gonna hear that Nano Swarm getting thrown. Killer's will hold the line. Shuts him down. 10 7. Yellow, they're gonna get across. Heard it. Angel has certainly heard this, but <gasps> seen it! What? What? Yeah, okay, maybe it's not a Ferrari peak. Maybe it's a maybe it's a CNED peak now. Shadow's found Sarkso though, trying to go on a little bit of an exploration mission, but there it is, CNED again. So sharp today. The aim is on point. And now has to find some more though. Zipan tries to peek and CNED says no! This is everything! He's holding it together and puts it into a 2v1 and says, look, if I can't clutch this out, I'm gonna do everything I can to give you this round. Shadow now, 1v2, Keyless just shoulder peeking here, but it's so good. Own Cole playing close. Been, he's been put to two. He, he's been he, he's been completely nullified. He tried to make it happen once again, but no, it doesn't happen. This time, though, Bone Cold Killers, they come online. They see that their leader in kind has fallen, and they're more than up to the task. And look at this swing around about. We have one round. It's a complete shutout for FPX. And now we're in a 4v1 and Shao out of nowhere. This has to be one. That's two. Quick succession. He is just snappy today. Oh. He actually got the transfer. He really. I know it. Left. Do they dare? Now look at Chow. He's going to take all the attention. Zipan doesn't need to show just yet. He can be patient. He lets one cross. He finally takes down Cena at a big enough target potentially to just dismantle. But a 3v3. It's not over yet. And Shadow Sh Sh on the flank. Oh, the oh, no. just falls away from him. Killers holds on. The spike's now down and it's an advantage to a set. Oh, they oh, the Dima Sick. Dima Sick denies. And now suddenly Dima Sick. Get a teammate up if you need. Invest into this. This could be a huge round, but Angel goes forward. There it is. Shadow's back up now. We've got three in against two. Killjoy investing. Can they deny this in time? Five seconds to try and deal with this one. They've got to get a move on real quick. No! no the denial! The, the crossfire! Oh, it's all done! Oh. So awkward here. I mean, because they sent half the reset back towards Connector here. Demizic trying to send some shots through. Find an awful lot of damage. Angel will find that one, but... Is now Shao going to double down? Starzo falls. This is going in FBX's favor initially. The way Bone Cold called him into CNED still alive and they're still holding on, but only for so long. CNED's dead. It's down to two. Called him into going around the world, but timing's going to be a factor. He has to get a move on. Angel's not stopping. Angel's defusing right oh now. And God. FBX make it to 12. OT to win this out. FPX just needs one more round. Cold Amenta oh! finds Angel. Maybe there's still life in them yet. We've seen Ascend digging so deep in these rounds. They're fast on the site here. Shao wants in, but maybe he looks a little isolated here. No, he backs away. Aldron comes out. Spike is planted. A clean plant, and actually, Bone Cold does have his utility to reset. Cold Amenta has two shock darts as well. They can sit in this post plant that we know they are. Yeah, look at the minimap. Bone Cold deep behind Belt. Now it becomes retake time. Zipan begins the first couple of steps, but it's not without pressure already coming through. Can't get the clean fight, kill it. <laughs> we'll do it with the turret in the end, but so much damage was dealt. It's down to three. Shao, Shadow, and Demasic still trying to convert this. Shao finds Killers. He can't convert towards the second the Cenad's there. On. You can't stick this anymore. Shadow finds more. They're all just piling in on the Shadow again. Finds Cenad. But time. He has wait, to find what? the time. And wait. 
Bone cold. There's no time left on the spike. Surely not. I think they've done enough on this one. If they fell short, summon FC at the time. And now ascend, I mean, arguably the summon FC of Masters. Absolutely. The diamond the in the rough. Grand finals. And here we go. It starts with a trade out. Zipan onto what's called a mentor, but called a finds two. Zipan and Angel dead again. And here we go. A 4v3. Shadow of Shao and Demosic once again called upon to try and keep this together. Now, where's that spike? It's still in the got hands of Fury. Coldamenta's Cold got Hunter's Fury on already. Bone Cold has both bits of utility. Oh, the lineup. Shadow, if he just goes for the shot. Oh, there he finds it with the wall bang. Cnet falls. Okay, 3v3 now. The second attempt. Here comes the ultimate. You noted it earlier. It's been invested. Cold Amenta trying to find one. I think there might have been a tag, but certainly oh, no frag yet. One minute left on the board. Look how brutal this battle is. Both teams willing to fight this out. But there's still time to back away if they want to. Try and reset this pace. And that's what they're doing. The spike now disengages away from the site, but they do leave Bone Cold still here. If someone gets a little over overzealous, look, peek a little too much, how much time is he buying them? Can that's he get to mid before they do? It's huge though. The no. fact that Bone, Bone Cold actually shows the Aldrone, it, 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 it makes it them, them yeah, it makes them reconsider rotating. This has given them complete freedom to come in here. Bone Cold still with one snake bite, Keyless, two nano swarms. Cold them into both shock darts. So they can play post plant here. Okay, Bone Cold right now is watching the flank just for a second or two. It leaves it down to Killers and Cold Amenta. Cold Amenta was lower and look at the HP. It's not perfect. Killers 41, Cold Amenta 34. FPX on the play back in. This is for all of it. All the hard work. It comes to this. A 3v3 post plant. Ascend on the verge. And there's the first Nano Swarm gone. Looking for some more though. Dima's sick and just work his way forward now. Can he sit on this plant? You can see what he can do here. He's still sitting it. He's got his halfway, peels away from it, but it does mean Shao oh. loses life. Keyless finds him. And now it's gonna be just one remaining! Oh my God. Send have done it!